Welcome to another edition of RCE. Again, this is Brock Palin along with Jeff Squires from Cisco Systems and one of the developers of OpenMPI. Jeff, thanks again for your time. Hey, Brock. We're uh, we're verging onto my territory again today. Uh, we're talking to some MPI guys and some big parallel computing guys here, so this will be an interesting one. Yeah, so before we get into that, you can find us online at rce-cast.com. You can find all the old shows there, subscribed by iTunes, RSS, etc. So our guests today are um, two guys who worked on the K computer. You guys may have heard of the K computer. It is currently the fastest machine in the world with an absolutely massive core count. So our two guests are uh, Ko Hota and Shinji Sumimoto, and I'm going to let them introduce themselves and say exactly what their roles are. So Ko and Shinji, thanks for taking time for the show. No, no, my pleasure. So why don't you give us a little bit of what your roles are? So my name is Ko Hota, and uh, I'm in charge of uh, software development in the K computer and other Fujitsu next gen uh, supercomputing. So especially I uh, I have experience in the uh, compiler development and also the OpenMP. I'm a OpenMP uh, director of the OpenMP ARB and also of course uh, Fujitsu. Uh, hi, uh, my name is Shinji Sumimoto. Uh, I'm the same division with the cohort, uh, and also I'm in charge of uh, development of uh, uh, MPI and high-performance co- high combination library. Also, I'm in charge of uh, developing uh, a file yeah. system. And I'm also in a, a board member of MPI forum, and Jeff, I am uh, well known, and, and maybe uh, much time that I met. So I should mention, too, that uh, Shinji and I uh, are on the MPI forum together, so we see each other every two months or so at yeah. at uh, these forum meetings for for quite a long time now, actually. Yeah. So um, <laughs> let's go ahead and start with a, a good general question here. What is the K computer? The K computer. The name K computer is a nickname of the next generation supercomputer built by Riken and Fujitsu. Uh, this is a national project of Japanese governments. Government South uh, Sai science and technology basic plan. So this is the uh, K itself is the name of the national project. And Fujitsu is in charge of the development. And K computer uses uh, Spark processors and more than 80,000 processors are combined in one system, a very huge size of the uh, computer. And the network itself is uh, Top uh, Fujitsu or K computer original original network, so 3D Torus network is used in the K computer. Uh, it, it will be development will be finished in uh, March 2012. But so now we have uh, maybe 80 percent of the system is already developed. So when you say it's 80% developed, the, the hardware is all in place. You're talking about the special software stack to support such a large system? Yes, uh, so special software stack means that uh, mm, uh, operating system is Linux. Uh, Linux is using the K computer and uh, uh, Compiler, it has uh, Fortran, C, C++, and so the uh, MPI uh, using the uh, on that system is uh, matched to the uh, this TOEFL interconnect system. And it is based on OpenMPI. So we we use OpenMPI and to match to the uh, K computer. And we have uh, uh, we had a lot of issues. For example, so so huge uh, systems. So we need to uh, reduce the uh, overhead of the operating system mm-hmm. and some use uh, supporting facility to use uh, uh, schedule the job scheduler, etc. So there are 
Mm, kind of original, but so enhanced all the tuned facility for the our future the current or former uh, previous system of the supercomputer. And it has a eight core uh, Spark processor. It's new for this K computer, and it has uh, eight cores. And our compiler has uh, automatic parallelization facility on eight core system processor. So thread parallelization is done by automatic parallelization, and also of course OpenP. On, and hybrid programming, so thread and par, uh, MPI hybrid pro programming is achieved by this, uh, used by this system. And so to easy programming, so we enhanced our uh, automatic parallelization because uh, a programmer uh, doesn't want to think about two level of parallelization straight parallel and uh, process parallel. So because of the automatic parallelization, programmer does not, don't need to uh, think about uh, straight parallelization. And this is a, uh, became available uh, not only by compiler optimization, but also by the uh, hardware facilities, it has uh, shared cache and hardware barrier, high-speed barrier, it uh, make it available. Uh, this is an abstract of the K computer. So who are the target users for the, the K computer? What kind of applications uh, will be running on this machine? A K computer is developed for kind of general purpose, so there are Almost, um, we have we are our target is, target users are uh, four kinds of target users. And one is life science, and e the next one energy research, disaster prevention, manufacturing, supporting manufacturing, and astronomy and astrophysics. So uh, these five uh, kinds of the area is the target of the K computer right now, but. It is very, very general purpose. And so uh, maybe most of the users are research, researching areas, so academic and uh, research laboratory. But so we are also uh, expecting that uh, manufacturer or the industry people will use the K computer also. So the K computer is, you know, very, very large by core count, and it has a very specialized network to enable MPI scaling. What do you expect the system to actually run a very, very large single MPI job, or do you expect it more often to be running several or dozens of smaller jobs simultaneously? Mm. In practically, now I don't think so much uh, full MPI program. So 80,000 processors are simultaneously used by one job. So it is, of course, available and it is a final target of the final use usage of the uh, K computer. But so uh, in uh, most of the time, so several or dozens of uh, programs are uh, used uh, simultaneously in the K, K computer system. Uh, K computer has uh, partitioning facility, so we uh, the K computer system uh, can be divided to uh, independent partitions for uh, 
dozens of programs. So this partition is uh, independent in the uh, operation. So was there a reason to build this as a, a single large machine rather than um, several smaller clusters? Yeah, so of course, if there is every time this is uh, uh, this is used in the smaller programs, so several smaller systems may be available. But so in the target uh, systems for lifestyle and for energy research, or maybe so disaster prevention in tsunami. Uh, simulation or um, life simulation, etc. So th those area needs a huge size, huge uh, high speed uh, systems. So it means uh, 10 petaflops systems. So uh, those area needs uh, full system of the area. So uh, simultaneously, K computer development and application people are developing their programs for uh, K computer. So, in very near future, after the uh, development of the uh, completing the K computer system, so some programs will use a full system in uh, one time. So, of course, there is some uh, strategy for the how, many, how much time a uh, full system is used and how much time so the separated partition is used. So we have uh, opportunity to, to uh, select the partitioning and the full system on the on this system so the k computer mm. is an absolutely massive system i mean it's the largest publicly acknowledged machine ever built mm. what sort of challenges mm. did you run into both building such a physically large system and the kinds of issues you run into managing such a physically large system Mm. So, runtime uh, management is a uh, uh, was a challenge for because the system itself is huge. So, one is a quality issue. Especially for the because of the K computer uh, network, TOF network. So, in case of some uh, partition jobs, so uh, e even if some node has uh, damaged and cannot run, so uh, the system the program can uh, use the the other system, so because the network is uh, kind of redundant uh, structure, mm -hmm. so uh, program can run on the uh, using some uh, other redundant uh, nodes. Uh, this is one of the uh, challenge. Of course, the uh, other one. So I have just mentioned so the. Uh, mark, uh, hybrid programming, thread and process programming. So we ha it was a challenge for the uh, use very simple uh, programming style. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, use a can program a can uh, ignore the existence of the thread because mm -hmm. of the a threads can be automatically uh, used by compiler. These are the challenges. Of course, the hardware has a lot of challenges. 
Uh, also, I, I have to note that uh, the uh, detection of a failure node uh, that's almost all of those uh, automatically detected by a uh, job schedule system. So a job schedule automatically eliminated the failure nodes and uh, uh, making a, a three torus system uh, into the, uh, except uh, a failure node and connecting uh, uh, three torus networks and automatically uh, resubmitted. So whole system is uh, all, uh, automatically changing and uh, such a nodes. And so, in a, such a large system, uh, it is very difficult to understand what knows is wrong. And we, a uh, uh, whole of uh, uh, design and uh, uh, pair of patterns and uh, make it into the, our system software uh, and the whole in, inside, and including a job scheduler. Uh, the NPR runtime system and job dispatch system, almost a user environment. Uh, that is a, 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 a feature system. So Shinji, what kind of challenges did you run into in scaling MPI up to okay. this large? Okay. Uh, um, <laughs> Jeff already told about uh, uh, open MPI. <laughs> Has to run over such a uh, maybe a, in currently a uh, sixty thousand node. <laughs> That's all. <awful. laughs> and there are many, many challenges. One is uh, maybe a uh, memory conceptions, and the other is knowledge communications. Uh, the other one is a collective communications. Uh, we add uh, some modification to the uh, Open API platform. Can, can you describe any of those uh, in, in generals or in specifics? Now, I you know, clearly don't want you to give away any proprietary uh, kind of stuff that you're doing there. But, you know, in general, uh, okay. what, were, what were the issues that you ran into? Okay. Uh, currently, uh, OpenP stack is uh, maybe a, a three stacks, PML, BML, and BTLs. And uh, uh, we had uh, some modification to... The for a, a TOF network, uh, maybe a, a TOF network is uh, implemented in a, a TOF BTL, uh, but uh, uh, PML and BML uh, overhead is uh, uh, so much high. So uh, for a low latency communication, we add a TOF uh, low latency pass that passes the uh, PML and the BML, and it, uh, in, in some cases. Uh, 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 passing the, uh, a message uh, passed through the B, uh, PML and BML, and it uh, realized a uh, low latency communication. The uh, other is a collective communication. Uh, because uh, uh, currently, uh, OpenAPI stack is only provided a trunking uh, method for a multi uh, network interface card. But uh, TOF has uh, four network interface card on the chip. So, uh, and our uh, network is a uh, uh, six dimensional torus, uh, uh, and uh, we, uh, we want to uh, make effective use of uh, uh, multiple network interface into uh, uh, multiple dimensional networks. And we develop to the, on top of the uh, uh, multiple internet network interface card, uh, card and uh, uh, we, we implemented uh, a collective communication algorithm. That is a very uh, 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 our uh, challenges. It, and also, uh, uh, in a uh, six, sixty thousand node system, uh, currently uh, MPI uh, consumes uh, uh, maybe a uh, uh, memory or not. Uh, you know, by uh, rank, number of uh, ranks. So uh, we eliminated the uh, uh, control uh, structures and and make sure uh, should be, uh, that memory consumption should be minimized. So we have had some modifications to the open MBI code. So the Tofu network itself, uh, you said it's a six dimension torus. Uh, what what kind of bandwidth are you seeing between links? 
Okay. Uh, uh, each each link has a uh, uh, five gigabyte per second and bidirectional. So uh, in the uh, bi bidirectional, you know, ten gigabyte per second. So uh, TOEFL uh, 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 has a four network interface uh, for each node. So it provides a twenty uh, four, forty gigabyte per second on band base, and also has a, a TOEFL uh, interconnect controller. I had uh, uh, 10, 10 links, uh, 10 external links that provides in that 100 gigabyte per second on the node. That's a too much high bandwidth. And uh, uh, um, network byte flop is uh, around uh, 0 0.25. That is a very high rate uh, in comparative to uh, Bruzine and such a kind of a, uh, the other. Uh, uh, Dedicated uh, connection network. Did you say 100 gigabytes to each node? Yes. <laughs> wow, that's that's impressive. How do you how do you feed that? Are you using uh, you know PCI technology between uh, the network interface card and RAM, or do you have something that can go much faster than that to feed all 40 or 100 gigs of uh, network bandwidth that you've got? Okay, uh, 100, 100 gigabytes per second is a uh, 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 link for uh, maybe a 10 links. So, what is the uh, uh, interface of uh, uh, limited to the, uh, 40 gigabytes per second? But uh, the such a uh, high bandwidth does not realize a current, uh, for example, PCI access network. <laughs> now, it is very limited. For example, uh, maybe a uh, uh, feature generation two and infinite band, you know, one link is uh, around uh, three point two gigabyte per second on one link QDR, and bidirection also means a uh, five or uh, six gigabyte per second. In that case, maybe a uh, four and five channel of PCI Express uh, by eight net uh, connection. Uh, if uh, we realize uh, the Using a infinite band, there's maybe a uh, around a four, uh, maybe a six, six network interface card on a one node. That's a terrible to realize a uh, commodity network. So uh, uh, we realize the network on one chip and uh, interconnect controller, and also uh, we pro develop the. Uh, Spark 64 and version 8 FX CPU. That's a two chip and dim, uh, eight dims. What that is one node and very very small and compact uh, implementation to high bandwidth and uh, low latency network. That is uh, uh, why uh, we developed a uh, uh, dedicated network. Okay, and you say eight dims. How much RAM are you talking? Uh, I uh, mean, I can't do uh, uh, six, uh, 60, uh, 16 gigabyte per, uh, 16 gigabyte per node, but a uh, uh, memory device bandwidth is a uh, 64 gigabyte per second. So, um, so I'm sorry, I was just thinking there. So 16 gigabytes per node, uh, so that's two gigabytes per core? If yes. I recall, you said eight cores? Okay. Yes. Yes. All right, that's kind of that's standard fare these days. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the other properties of the Taurus network, of the, the Tofu network being Taurus based? Can it emulate like traditional Ethernet devices or something like that to be able to access, say, external file systems? Or do you have to go through a special file system layer? Okay. Uh, currently, okay, computer has a uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, Two types of file system. Uh, one is uh, uh, directly connected to uh, the uh, TOF network. That is connected by a fiber channel and uh, maybe IO node of uh, uh, and Spark nodes and directly connected to uh, uh, the other uh, computation node. That's a, that's a uh, file system that we should, uh, uh, we developed a raster based uh, uh, file system. And they're very uh, 
scale of networks and the uh, uh, OSS is around uh, maybe a over 2,000 nodes. Uh, that is uh, not not uh, realize the current raster specification. So uh, we uh, expand the specification uh, for our uh, network network and uh, file size and expanded and also a uh, file system size also expanded. They maybe many many are expanded on a current raster and also has uh, we had a, a global file system. Uh, the global file systems for use uh, uh, users, uh, data manipulations, and uh, um, user programming, and kind of data is provided. Uh, when a job uh, submitted, uh, the data uh, user specified on the global file system is transferred to the local file system. Uh, the connection and uh, maybe a uh, well, file system is a, using, we are using an InfiniBand a QDR system. So uh, global file system and the local file system, I don't know, there's a gateway of uh, a TOF network. Uh, the I don't know has uh, both uh, InfiniBand networks and also has a uh, uh, TOF network. And also uh, some I don't know has a file uh, network that we uh, develop in a local file system. So uh, when you uh, dispatch a job, the data specified in the global file system is transferred to the local file system through the InfiniBand. And uh, that's a staging. Uh, and the staging is the end, the job has been started. Uh, and the job use, uh, uh, mainly use uh, uh, data on the local file system. So there's uh, uh, data, maybe a uh, uh, raster based. Uh, so uh, uh, you use a job uh, uh, almost a uh, uh, dedicated data on a local file system. Quick question for HG. Uh, so earlier okay. in the conversation, um, said that there was hardware support for barriers. I assumed that that meant within a single node. But now that you're talking about both Tofu plus InfiniBand, I'm wondering, do you have a a network for barrier support across the machine, like blue jeans, or is that was that really within a single node barrier support? Oh, yes, uh, a TOEFL network also has a barrier and a reduction and a, a broadcast. That uh, maybe a scatter, uh, but uh, very fast. Uh, that uh, around a uh, ten microsecond over uh, almost over 10, 10, nodes. Very, very okay, so, so that is, that's built into the Tofu network? You said there's hardware support for those things? Yes. Okay, yes, sure. cool. So back to the file system, am I getting it right that you're kind of almost doing your parallel I.O. on your stage in and stage out? Because you're reading from this global yes. file system into the local file system, and you're almost using the yes. local file systems like Luster um, OSTs? Okay, that's an interesting way of yes. doing it. So you don't have the overhead until you stage in and stage out. Um, but uh, the, we think that uh, uh, maybe uh, our computing knows maybe a uh, file I/O is very uh, weak to the uh, into a parallel uh, access. So uh, we once into into a copy to the local file system, the file system is a dedicated use for jobs. So uh, the IO time is uh, divided. Also, maybe uh, uh, also uh, the uh, stage in is uh, overlap to the other jobs. There's a waiting time, but uh, no, almost no loss of uh, uh, job period. So let me ask uh, something a little among uh, you know my particular bench here. What what led you to choose choose Open MPI uh, over the other open source MPI implementations? Okay, that's my question. Uh, so, uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, almost three years ago, uh, uh, we have uh, the dedicated MPI uh, for our physics system, uh, but uh, that is a very old system uh, based on the MPI CH. Uh, but uh, expanding uh, maybe, uh, for example, uh, when uh, with a new version of MPI, that is a very, very table, uh, uh, a lot of code. So, uh, uh, we uh, think uh, 
it must be uh, based on uh, uh, open source based uh, MPI first. So then uh, we uh, measured and implemented uh, and compared uh, uh, several MPI platforms. Um, one is uh, MPI C2 and Ember Pitch and OpenMPI. And we compare performance. Um, maybe the result is uh, good for uh, maybe Ember Pitch <laughs> for infinite with uh, best. Uh, however, Ember uh, Pitch is a uh, uh, Totally dedicated to the infinity band. So, uh, so um, our uh, mission is maybe uh, uh, provide a uh, standard MPI to a K computer, also to the fish cluster. So, we think the uh, open MPI, uh, we selected the open MPI because uh, when we uh, implemented the open MPI to a K computer, it also works in the fish cluster. That is our, our, our decision point. Some of the methods you came up with for supporting a scalable broadcast and scalable other types of collective operations on a Torus type network, uh, can those methods implemented in OpenMPI be made generic to other types of Torus networks, or does it rely so much on the specific Tofu hardware? And uh, um, later I said, uh, uh, the other uh, one can be implemented the other uh, three trust network. However, uh, currently we are uh, making a special uh, collective uh, region uh, for uh, our uh, MPI because uh, uh, we add the uh, special interface to use the multiple interface. <laughs> so uh, it can be. Uh, <laughs> possible to implement, but currently it, it is not uh, difficult to uh, directly to the other network now. So I think you said, um, uh, either you or someone on your team, Shinji, I'm afraid I don't recall, but mm -hmm. somebody said on a, a public mailing list that uh, mm -hmm. someday you probably would have some code to put back to the open source MPI, and I, I think that's really great, okay. so we really appreciate that. Um, I, I assume that some of this will be kept as proprietary secret sauce as you should because you have a, a fantastic hardware platform but whatever you whatever you guys want to put back to open source we'd be happy to take <laughs> okay uh, maybe uh, it, it, it takes some, some time maybe uh, we'll be started uh, next year uh, but uh, uh, if uh, uh, some open API uh, make some uh, interface to provide uh, for example uh, uh, there's a, a for network interest cloud so I I want to send this message to the, for example, uh, uh, network interface one. The specified uh, the, um, if such kind of uh, interface is provided, uh, we can uh, implement it <laughs> uh, our uh, our uh, uh, collective uh, protocols in a standard uh, open API. Kind of uh, that is uh, dedicated, but uh, also it can be implemented when uh, the uh, interface is provided. So, are there plans to sell smaller versions of the K computer, um, or is the K computer a, a, exactly a one off? So, Fujitsu is uh, developing uh, HPC technology. For a long time, and K computer is one of the uh, implementation of the our technology. Uh, of course, uh, collaborated with Riken, and so Fujitsu will uh, ship uh, our HPC uh, product. So uh, using the same technology of the uh, K computer. K computer itself will not be the ship, but so we will ship HPC system to using the same technology of the K. So, so is there anything you can comment on uh, publicly about future products at all or, or future directions? Um, now, I, I, I know you might not be able to say much, but I figured I'd ask anyway. <laughs> so just I can say that we will announce soon, and you can use these systems. Yes, planned. 
in <laughs> this year, I think. We will. Good to know. Okay. Thank you, uh, Shinji Ko. Thanks a lot for your time. I think we've got everything that we want to get out there. Uh, so thanks again for your time. Is there a website or anything for information on the K computer? Uh, K computer information is on weekend system. Uh, so in weekend, there are some uh, information about uh, K computer. So I will send the uh, URL for the weekend web page and or uh, with uh, my bio oh, on that okay great and we'll, we'll put that in the show notes so that it'll be available to everybody well, i want to give a special thank you because uh uh brock and i are on u.s eastern time and and uh ko and shinji are both yeah. in japan so it's it's nearly midnight for them uh yeah. as we're recording so we want to say yeah. a special thank you for staying up so late to do this with us yes thank you very much thank you very much 